Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. We have got all sorts of cookies. It is Girl Scout season. Is it always Girl Scout season? No. Okay, good. It's Girl Scout season and um, we had the opportunity to get some Girl Scout cookies so we decided that it would be fun to try all sorts of Girl Scout cookies. Some of these I have tried before. Yes. And by some, I mean one. I've had peanut butter patties before. Okay. And I've tasted a Thin Mint. I don't know that I've ever had any of the other ones. Let's start with a tried and true classic. Okay. Of Thin Mints. Sure. Now these are the only box I've opened already because um, Haley in particular likes these frozen. Oh. So I took a pack and put them in the freezer. Oh, okay. This is the room temp one. Okay, sure. I've had the Thin Mint before. Mm-hmm. It's a good cookie. Classic, good, mm-hmm. It's a good cookie. Now, one thing people may not know is that there, there are two bakers for these cookies, mm -hmm. depending regionally where you are. And they have different names sometimes based on the region. Mm -hmm. Where I lived in Wisconsin was ABC. Mm -hmm. Where Haley lived in Wisconsin, it was um, Brownie Bakers. And now the frozen Thin Mint. That is good. The reason that works is because it is thin. Mm -hmm. If that was any different, mm -hmm. that wouldn't work. I don't feel like it's a huge difference. There's some things that like, between them being like room temp or frozen are completely different, like Pop-Tarts. Yeah. yeah. Pop-Tarts can be wildly different. Mm -hmm. Those aren't super different. Like it's refreshing, mm -hmm. but that didn't change my life. I didn't feel like it's necessary. No. Yeah. We're gonna try Toast Yays, and I think these are a newer one. They're also, They're they don't come in a since box. I was in Girl Scouts. They come in a, this crap, I hate this crap. I know. Uh, French toast inspired cookies dipped in delicious icing. I was not expecting them to be this big. I also thought that it was a sandwich cookie. Mm -mm, I knew it wasn't. Oh, I didn't know that. These are huge, holy cow. So these taste, it's two sides, right? You have the cookie side and then you have the icing side. Mm -hmm. Cookie side, like a big, thicker Teddy Graham. Like the cinnamon Teddy Grahams, that's what this tastes like. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Like don't mess with perfection. The icing side, it's a very light yeah. vanilla I mean, icing. It's good, but Thin Mints are better. That's very subjective. Thin Mints are good. Like I, I don't, it's not that I just like Thin Mints, but like I'm not a huge, huge mint person. Yeah. I'm the sort of person that like Every, like, once every three years, I remember that a York peppermint patty exists, and for a brief moment in time until I can acquire that York peppermint patty, that's the only thing I want on this earth. And then once I have it, I'm set for another three years. Thin mints are kind of a similar thing. We're like, really? they're good. Mm. I like them. Yeah. There's no part of me that doesn't like them. Cinnamon and icing, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm all about that. I would maybe choose the toast. The only reason I wouldn't choose the, choose the toast jays is that they're a little messy because the the icing side. Gets a little sticky. Yeah, and they're big. They're just so big. The Thin Mints are nice and small. Anyway, these opinions don't matter. Next up, we're trying trefoils. So here's trefoil. Trefoil. And what is, ooh, it's They're shortbread. Shortbread. Mm -hmm. It's just sad. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with shortbread cookies. Mm -hmm. I find shortbread cookies genuinely delicious. Mm -hmm. That cookie is genuinely delicious. Mm -hmm. It is so boring when that is the third cookie you've eaten. It's the fourth cookie we've eaten because we had two Thin Mints because we had to try one frozen. We, when you go from that to a toast yay, and then you go to a, what's this called? Trefoil. Trefoil. It doesn't even have a good name. I say after eating a, a cookie literally called toast hyphen yay. Trefoil, what a dumb name. I prefer cookie, woo! The shortbread one, like it's fine, but like it is it's it is a little boring compared to the other one. Yes, I agree, but I really like shortbread. You know what it does right? Mm. It gets the size right. That's the mm. size. That is a good size. That's the size mm -hmm. of what I perceive the cookies to be. Yes. I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be that size except the toastier. I'm marking against the toastier on the size thing. The toastier should be smaller and it should fit into a box. Next up, we're trying Adventurefuls. 
which are uh, brownie inspired with caramel flavored cream and a hint of sea salt. Honest to God, so I've never had these. And when we were looking at them, I was like, this sounds like something I would just yeah. absolutely this adore. This is a Stephen cookie. So I'm, I, I'm putting a lot of hope <laughs> um, into a these lot right of, now. Of your hopes and dreams are riding on this cookie. It really is because this on paper should be something Stephen George really enjoys. Or really hard. Oh God. I might feel differently if I eat a few of these, but my first thought mm -hmm. is it's a missed opportunity. Four. For a good cookie. Mm. It's got all of the pieces mm -hmm. that it needs. I want it to be soft. I want it to be soft. It's not soft. And I want there to be a little more salt. Yeah. I did not taste any of that hint of salt. The 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 fact that it's a hard cookie, mm -hmm. it's real hard. It's real hard. It's much harder than the other cookies that I, that we've yeah. had so far, I I believe. Yeah. And and I and I just want it to be softer. It looks like it should be softer. Yes. That was the one I was really hoping. I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. feeling good about the adventure fulls. Did it taste good? I really wish it was softer and salt. I mean, I guess I could salt it myself. Next is my personal favorite, uh, Caramel Delights. Samoas, yeah. depending on where you are. Um, I have never had one of these. Ever? Oh, these are my favorite. They weren't my favorite when I was in Girl Scouts. Those were. But that was before I had a peanut butter allergy. Well, so the reason that I've never had one of these is that growing up, I just despised coconut. Mm -hmm. I just despised mm -hmm. coconut. And I got older and I, I, I kind of got to the point where I was like, why did I despise it? I, I get it a little bit. It's not really the flavor, it's the texture. Mm. It's a little bit like, oh, what's going on? But I, I'm better about it now that I'm older. And coconut doesn't really bother me as much. So let's try, this is a, everyone loves these. So let's see what I think about these. See, I always liked like a Mounds bar as a kid. Mm -hmm. So I loved coconut. I don't always want coconut, but these are best ones. These are really good. Mm -hmm. And you know what makes me so upset? Why couldn't have the Ventrifles been the same like hardness as mm -hmm. these? Would have been a better mm -hmm. cookie. The Samoas or the Caramel Delights, these are good because they're complex. They're not super, super soft, but they're not hard. They got some chew to them because mm -hmm. they got the caramel. And the coconut. The coconut is actually really, really nice. Mm -hmm. The chocolate's nice. These are really good cookies. Yeah, those are my favorite. I can see now why these are so popular. Mm -hmm. I'm really upset about the Adventurefuls. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite Girl Scout cookie of the very few that I had ever tried. I had these a lot when I was when I was younger. Anytime Girl Scout cookies uh, were available to me, I almost always got a box of these. And uh, Mal can't have these because they're peanut butter. The peanut butter patty. That is so good. I loved like, those as a kid. And the peanut so butter good. sandwich ones too as a kid. Oh, those were my favorites. It's just, it's got this perfect little mound. Of peanut of, butter. Of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It's, it's just perfect. And there's so, such a fun variety of ways to eat these too, because when I was a kid, I would, you know, you can eat them. You can also like take your teeth and just scrape all the peanut butter off and that can be bite one. And you can save the cookie for bite two. I don't remember what they taste like. I just remember good. Oh, well, your intuition is correct. They, they are good. If I had to rank these, it would be difficult, actually. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be a little difficult. I want to put the shortbreads at the bottom, but sometimes that's what you want. Yes. You do want a simple cookie. It is a much easier proposition to just put the Adventurefuls at the bottom. It's so disappointing to have had such high hopes shattered because the cookie was, was honestly too hard. I would probably put the trefoils above that. Mmm. I'm gonna put the Thin mints above that, which is gonna piss off some people because they're a little, they're in the bottom three and they're not even bad, but like they're just not as good as the other ones. Above that, I'm gonna put the toastiers. Blasphemous, possibly. And then above that, the Samoas and then the peanut butter patties. Peanut butter patties, still the best cookie. Still, after all this time, I think if I have a, if I have a little bit more opportunity, a little more time to be intimate with the Samoas, that might change my mind. That's my box, though. <laughs> Peanut butter patties, because I can't have them. <laughs> Easy choice. Adventure Foles, Toast Yay, Trey Foils, Thin Mints, Caramel Delight. 
I mean, it's all subjective. I can see why you put peanut butter patties at the bottom. Can you? It's easy. It's easy to put something at the bottom when you physically cannot ingest it. Yeah, it's, that's fair. That's our rankings. And I know that there are other cookies that we do not have here. Some of the cookies we literally could not get. Yeah. Maybe in the future we'll do this again with even even more of the cookies. Um, let us know what your favorite Girl Scout cookie is. And I'm curious uh, how upset you are at my ranking. Some people are gonna be like, they make justice. And like, they're good, man, they're good. Do I think I like the Tosier better? I, I do. I like cinnamon. Cinnamon and icing? Mm, that's some good stuff for me. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow for the Super Bowl, shall we? <laughs>